The Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. Say a cat is sealed inside a container with a device that has a fixed chance of releasing some kind of poisonous gas. When does the cat die? But the device activates. That's the obvious answer. Find some way of determining the moment the gas will be released. And that's when the cat will die. But here we come to the crux of the problem. The, the, pro the box is completely sealed out from the outside. I was about to Google how to pronounce the crux, but no, 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 no. That's for, that's for later. And the device is configured to release the gas at random anyways. In other words, it's impossible for any outside observer to tell whether or not the device has been triggered. The gas condition can only be expressed in a, as a probability. If there's a 10% chance that the device activates in one hour, it can be described as a 90% alive. After two hours, it's 80% alive. At three hours, 70. And after a full 10 hours, it can definitely be said to have died, right? Actually, it's a bit more complicated than that. If the chances of the cat being alive after one hour are 90%, then after two hours, they do stand at 90, 90 times 90, or 81%. By the same calculation, the chances of it being alive after three hours fall to 72.9%, then 65.6% after four. Even after 10 full hours, the cat is still 34.9% alive. Cats are pretty stubborn creatures. Now, back to the original question. When does the cat die? Even after a week, it's still... Point... Two hundred thousand percent alive. One, two, three, one, two... Okay, point twenty thousand percent alive. Okay. Uh, even, uh, even after a year or 10,000 years, the probability it's still alive and kicking never reaches zero. The cat exists perpetually in a mixed state, both dead and alive. That's right, as long as the box remains unopened, the cat will never die. What is life? What is death? They are nothing more than the con constructs. 99% dead, might as well be a hundred. Our position of life and death is just that nebulous. Things aren't simply defined in the real world, though. Of all the potential outcomes, every overlapping branch, we see only one. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's definitely kind of odd, isn't it? What's so weird about it? The answer to that lies in the parameters of the thought experiment. Sure, the flow of time might not mean anything inside a box that's totally cut off from the outside world. But nothing of the kind exists in reality. We would be witness to all sorts of weird phenomena if we assumed the existence of an object like that. An object which is, in fact, quite non-existent. Can we really be so sure about that last part though? What if our world itself is just like that box? What if there's another world far beyond what mankind is able to observe? Far beyond the edges of the unknown universe? In that case, something might seem like a... Seems like a fixed event to those of us on the inside. But from the outside, might appear uh, to exist in the multiple states. To contain any number of unfixed probabilities. What to us is past might then feel to any outside observer more like future. If that is the case, I have to beg them. Beg them never to open the box. Please, not yet. Don't sit in stone the past that I've witnessed. I guess uh, that dream actually kind of makes sense. I mean, it's just literally talked about us. This whole little weird dream. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, you did it! Uh, victory, P Puff!
Yes. Never mind. The big puff. Gah! It's so noisy. No! What the hell's going on? Not just something! Those were all my balls you stepped on! Thank you. That moment I put a step to the Byrick alarm clock, her face lights up. <laughs> Morning, uh, um. Yeah, I remember. There's no way I do forget it. Anyway, I think there's something else we're forgetting. You've gone and done the same thing as yesterday. How do you plan on taking responsibility if I end up unable to have kids? No, well, someday. Has she gotten the wrong end of the stick? Are they getting my dick now? Nah, if I had to go ahead and choose, I do say I do. But once I get a stable job and a cute wife of my own, what of those are out of my reach at the moment? Uh, I don't watch it, but yeah. No! I mean, yes, stable job! Yes! So that doesn't mean anything else but that, right? Thanks for waiting, Grinnell. I finally showed my face after fumbling around for a while, getting changed. Thanks, Mom! Grinnell reaches for the metal collar around my neck and and it turns it the, the right way around. Hmm. Feels a little ticklish. Jeez, mom, you're so caring. No, it's okay, I was told to arrive early. And there's no need to go that far for a freeloader like me. Not for staying in the morning. She hands me a small, dirty rucksack. What is this? Oh. You're well prepared. What is this, Renan? Can, can we live in here and step to, instead of the past, please? Renan tosses a bunch of items into your pouch, readjusts your de uh, hat, uh, then... Oh, Looks like I didn't have to wait for her to get ready at all. Wow. I walked through the residential district listening to Renette's lecture all the while. There's some light streaming down from the from the hall into the ceiling, but it doesn't look as bright as it did on the top uh, stratum yesterday. The atmosphere this morning is thoroughly depressing. I don't know what that is, but that sounds cool. If this is the third, that's another two levels down, right? Where is Nirwan, by the way? It didn't seem like he was home. The old man still working? It must be tough at this age. Hmm. Guess you don't have any sort of pension system here. Oh, so you want to protect the island too, huh? それもあるけど、発電所なら電気取り放題。あ、おお、なんでもないよ、なんでもない。
Turns out she's just a naughty little kill. But it's difficult, right? To do what you want to do. Stealing electricity isn't work. It's a crime. <laughs> but it's true, I guess. When someone has a need that you can fulfill, that's all work is to begin with. It's not really work if you're the only one who believes that there's any work in what you do. But people's values often clash with each other. In the end, it's a question of which takes priority. Society's values or your own. The fact that I even think about these sorts of things means I'm not entirely suited for work, right? But to survive in a place like this, there's no other choice. Except offing yourself. One where I spend all day getting scolded by a spooled little rich girl with a bit of a sadistic streak! Oops, didn't I meant to say that out loud. She's looking at me like I'm some filthy animal. But I do still rather have the, those cold piercing eyes. All that's left is for you to start showering me with insults and then the, illusions, the illusion will be complete. Renelle eh, eh, <coughs> <coughs> looks up at me with a troubled expression on her face. Her cheeks slowly reddening before him. Oh. Hey, that's that's more like it. <laughs> but there's still room for improvement. Put your heart into it! And? Renette's cheeks are growing even more flushed. They're practically apple red at this point. Oh. <laughs> Just to think of it, that's really the only insult she used in her fight with Nirwan the other day. Uh, no, she went a little bit overboard with something else, too. Right, let me teach you a few things. First, the basics. You're fired! That one really hits you in the gut. She strides off, seemingly trying to hide her crimson face. <laughs> Well, let's leave it here uh, 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 there for today. But sooner or later, I'll mold her into a formidable sadist. That's for sure. Leave it to me. I may not look like it, but I think I've got a pretty strong memory. Rene scrutinizes me suspiciously, then... I don't know where a smile spreads across her face. For a moment, just a moment ago, I feel a bit scared of Rene's unconditional belief in me. If I ever betray her, I imagine, I imagine it will wound her very deeply. What was your errand, by the way? I can't say no. Uh, quite politically, changed the subject. But Rene, either because she's oblivious or merely naive, doesn't seem to take any notice. Ashin, oh, you mean that cassette player? Cassette player? She tilts her head to one side. It's a machine for playing tapes. Were you trying to fix it without knowing what it was? I'm really not sure about that. I know, I know, I believe you. Even though I have no reason to. But seeing that out loud makes my heart feel a little less heavy somehow. Right. Later, Rune. You bet. Ugh, that dropped like a lead weight. Cassette player. Cassette player. That's right. It doesn't matter what kind of job I get, even if it's one that conflicts with my values. I have someone who believes in me. Who'll be waiting for me back at home? No need to off myself then, <laughs> whatever happens. 
I'll write them against a job! <laughs> Hello? I timidly slipped through the church towards and raised my voice. But the countless people coming and going only cast an occasional glance in my direction. No one stops for me. Ugh, this is no good for my self esteem. But no, I'll soldier on! My heart will never break! Why? Because something's only to get together! Renee's brilliant smile! <laughs> My name is Setsuna! Back up at the verb! The city and this island in search of a great and noble cause! Oh? The people around me have scattered in an instant. Thanks. <laughs> Hear my play! I shall report some portion of my mighty strength in exchange for adequate compensation! What now? Some things with guns are coming out from the bag. All of a sudden, I'm surrounded by a brawny man. I bought all my arms pinned down. M my name is Etsuna, the son of this land, the search of a great and noble. Avalons? Last the Avalons? I don't really know what that means, but I'll Google it. Just in case it's a reference. Avalon is paradise, a paradise to which Arthur is scared after his dead Avalon. That's right! I'm a messenger of Avalon! I bring good news to the world! EXECUTION! You've got it wrong, I'm just a... LEAVE! Job hunting! It's you! I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Say me, oh Sarah the Wise! They see me, Sarah! I don't really get what's going on, but I think you're in for a bloody spectacle, anyways! Sarah?彼は私の友人です。え、フレンズ。そらそもの。しかしこいつは自ら<笑> The man immediately released me from their grip, bowed their heads, and make a hasty retreat. Get the hell out of here! まったく。神聖な教会でどうしてこうも連日騒ぎばかり。I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like someone should take away that from our hands. Sarah, but he heaves a deep sigh. Whatever she's mumbling about, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Still, that was really something, quoting the scriptures like that. You're simply a lady of the church. Banana flavor. <coughs> Banana. No, wait. Lemon tart flavor. That's, um. By the way, it saved me, though. So. This. I guess we're even? Is she embarrassed? Or is she being modest? So. So. The enigmatic expression which surfaced briefly in Sarah's face is gone, and she's right back in work mode. Please be lazy bum, please be lazy bum, please be lazy bum. Oh, so it starts later in the afternoon, huh? It'll be great not having to get up early. I promise to keep Renee company at night after all. So, what kind of job is it? Hmm? So do you be like an assistant at a specialist shop or something? 
女性と軽妙な会話をしながら服を脱がせます。OK。そしてお風呂に案内して丁寧に全身を洗います。Wait a second. Isn't that sex work? 少し高級なだけの公衆浴場です。But after that, there will be a. So, no, to a, 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 I don't think this one's going to be much different. Setsna san nara, kaiwa gino no men de mo tekisei ga aru ka to. No, I am super shy. I said from Rene, you're the person I can have a decent conversation with. Shotai men no aite ni mune ni tsui te atsuku kataru no ga matomo da to wa omoi masen ga. Well, you know, breasts is hard. Art! I don't think I mentioned that since my case is straight to her rack. Kono shigoto nara, Setsna san no shinu made ni shitai koto mo kanao ka to. Um, how very considerate of you. Oh dear, it looks like she's totally misread my character because of the way I've behaved. Alright, this is a good opportunity to clear up one of those misunderstandings. But, they're looking so peachy today. Peachy! So do you use this metal hug and bathrooms yourself? What am I saying? Huh? She's frozen stuff! What? 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 I am a woman! I am a woman! I am a woman! I am a woman! So you do, huh? Ah, this is Sarah in non-work mode. What? What are you thinking about, Setsuna? She averts her gaze. It's going to be a... Bit of a hassle if every one of these shitty jobs is going to a center bright red. Your voice is breaking. Okay, uh, pimp. Uh huh. Right, I see. Right, 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 yeah. という感じなのですが、いかがでしょう A full-time pimp. Thanks, I think I get it. But aren't there any normal jobs? やる気もないのに説明させないでください I'm pretty sure you launched right into that job description yourself. 職業に規制はありません。すべての労働は神に対する奉仕であり、喜びなのです。I think that God just wants to see hentai from people, and that's it. I'm not making fun of you or anything. I just don't think I'm suited to it. そうでしょうか。セツナさんにはどこか女性を引きつける魅力があるように思われますが。So you like me complimenting about your breasticles? Hmm, is that a confession, Sarah? I don't think you can analyze a guy like me objectively, though. Ah, is that what you call the suspicion bridge effect? Is that attribution of arousal? I happened to be there when you were in a tight spot yesterday. <laughs> in any case, I really don't plan on doing stuff like that. So if you don't have any other work for me, I'll return my color. No, I'm not. I don't think I am. No, I do. I think. Anyway, what is all this? Reverse sexual harassment? What does that mean exactly? 医療班が開発したお薬を配給する前に試しに飲んでいただくお仕事です。パパパパピックピョンズ、サンスーパーイーズ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシェイディ、バレダッサンシ
Jeez, I wonder why. Oh, I'm one lucky guy, alright? Yeah, uh, I'll have to decline. I wonder why. <laughs> I wholeheartedly refuse. What's with this church? I thought they were a more respectable bunch. A smile very psych escapes her lips. She really does have the wrong end of the stick with me, huh? I don't mind a bit of danger necessarily, that I'm gonna keep working night shifts. In a world like this, I imagine there are plenty of people who do that sort of work. Someone has to do those kinds of jobs to keep the world turning. I get that. Sorry, but I'm just not that attached to the island. You can't expect me to be happy protecting with my life something I don't feel any attachment to, can you? I'm not from here after all. No matter where I go, I'm never going to share the values of the people who belong there. Looks like all I'm going to do is complain, no matter what jobs you show me. That's just a kind of a guy I am. So, so anything will do. Just go ahead and decide for me. I'll go with whatever you choose. It sounds like I have a choice anyway. And besides, there's some, there's somebody here waiting for me, waiting for me to come back a slightly better man than I was yesterday. No popping pills, y'all. I ain't dying today. Sarah scans through the register at her fingers, then snaps it shut. She looks me straight in the eyes. What now? About an hour later, Sarah and I sit down on a bench at the park and nibble on our, on our lunch. Although the single hunk of rock hard bread that Rene has packed for me barely constitutes a lunch, and the water in my flask reeks of chlorine. But it tastes delicious all the same. Gonna get beneath this bright blue sky! <laughs> In fact, it feels almost like a picnic. Hey, why am I going on? Why, why am I going on a date with you? I thought I came here to look for a job. Right. True, it is lunchtime, and there are other men and women eating their meals in the area. But they're almost certainly all couples. And how much do you eat anyway? Perry gets the basket beside her, and orders that it's packed to the brim with sandwiches. Oh, Sarah takes out a sandwich and offers it to me. Oh, sorry. To be frank, one piece of bread isn't quite enough, you know. I accept it without reservation, uh, then bite down. It's gonna be super good, isn't it? That's not it. The feeling's just... Um... <laughs> corn? Is that how you... <laughs> Is that how you like it? I found it from the restaurant. I found it from the restaurant. I found it from the Well, canned food like that does have a long shelf life. Corn is good, corn. You just like corn, don't you? Right. So this god of yours is a farmer? I get it, I'll be sure to savor it. I got the feeling she could lecture me on corn forever. Cut the gear off or bite down on my sandwich. As expected, the bread is tough and hard to swallow, but the sweet corn filling is wonderfully nostalgic in flavor. No, there must be more to it. I'm sure I've set outside stuffing sandwiches in my mouth like this before. Somewhere, some time ago. Figured. 
、教会の外に出るときには、護衛をつけるようにと言われてしまいまして。まあ、もう、なんか、わわわわ。飲み込んでから喋ってください。わわわ。I can't agree with your dad. Renette did say that people connected to the church were being attacked. しかし私はどうも衛兵たちが苦手で。I can see why. Sarah scratches up her face and mumbles to herself. I get nervous when an art man approaches me. I suppose that's even more true if you're a girl. But what makes you think I'm up to it? I'm not really confident I could protect you when the time comes. 昨日守ってくださったじゃないですか。I stayed by your side, sure, but I wasn't really protect. やはり、愛着を感じないものを守ることに喜びは見出せませんか<笑> ?I just felt my cat bumping his head、uh, up to the bed. Ouch! <laughs> I end up biting my lap. Do I really feel no attachment to her? To this corn taste sandwich? That laser sharp gaze that's drilling into me? 形だけでいいんです。あくまで父を納得させるためですから。コンテスティック、コンテスティック、コンテスティックサンドイッチ。リッド、プロポーレン。うん。あなたは、そうです。でも、それは、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、どうやって、人を傷つける気はありませんよ。But the guys from the church, they were out for blood. Sarah seems to stiffen for a moment, but it might just be my imagination. そうですね。彼らは、いまだにアバロンとのことを引きずっているのかもしれませんね。What's this Ablon, by the way? はい。Oops. Oh, that Ablon. I remember now. Right, right. Avalon, of course. Judging by Sarah's tone, it must be the sort of thing that everyone knows about here on the island. So I'm probably better off going with the flow for now. Motomoto Avalon to a Sage no Nade. Sage in Setna ga, Kono yo no kotowari o shitta basho to sare te imas. Ah, so it's got something to do with my name then? Setna wa kono yo ni umare o chita saisho no Sage in desu kara. Kare to mukan ke na monogoto nado arimasen yo. Uh huh. Not sure I'd really get any of this, but it's centrally a story. Man, I feel bad saying this, but I don't really believe in God or stuff like that. Hmm. It might be worth to read if it puts me on the same page as everyone else in this island. Yeah. No prize of five million, huh? That's fraud! Simony! <laughs> This stinks to high heaven! No thanks. Oh, a shield sounds good! Might come in useful sometime! <laughs> That's no good! That's too small! Um, have I got myself caught up in some kind of a dating scam? Damn it! b a n d i t magnificent drag, there's one evil prod! In any case, I came here looking for a job, meaning I don't have any money. You'll have to wait till some hour time to sell me your buck, or whatever. This whole business seems pretty fishy to me. Generally speaking,、uh, you do hire someone more trustworthy to be your personal bodyguard. Not some guy you only met the day before. Renette's exactly the same. Is everyone here just super naive? Or does she have an ulterior motive? This mess of hers jiggle right in front of me. Did you do that on purpose, Sarah? What the hell am I doing? Look at there! I mean, they bounced! <laughs> well, beggars can't be choosers. I got to go back for, or, or go home and face with a. 
So he's like this. Got it. I'll accept. On two conditions. I'll never believe in God. You can try and pursue me all you want, but you will only be wasting your breath. And second... <laughs> Noticing the direction of my gaze, Sarah moves to cover her boobs. <laughs> That's not it. Please don't call me your knight. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Sarah's cheeks flash red and the smile spreads across her face. I'm not really sure what that smile means, but... It certainly succeeded in lowering my defenses. And then I can grab, go for the boobs!